Ladies and gentlemen, on behalf of Polk County Public Schools, welcome to today's commencement ceremony. Graduation is an important milestone, and we are proud that you have joined us to celebrate the momentous accomplishments of our students. Now, please stand in honor of the graduating class of 2021. Please remain standing as our National Honor Society Chapter President, Charlotte Roberts, leads us in the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. Please be seated. Good afternoon. We'll try that again. Good afternoon. My name is Kevin Levine and I am the principal of Harrison School for the Arts and it is my pleasure to welcome you to the graduation ceremony for the Harrison class of 2021. I would like to thank Polk County Public Schools, the RP Funding Center, the Lakeland Police Department, and everyone else involved in making this graduation ceremony possible. We are honored to have some special guests with us today assisting with our graduation program. I would like to recognize them at this time. Ms. Jacqueline Bird, Superintendent, Polk County Public Schools. The Honorable William Allen, School Board Member, District 1. 
Brandy Polly, Assistant Principal, Harrison School for the Arts. Felicia Jackson, Student Services Director, Harrison School for the Arts. Amy Benningfield, School Counselor, Harrison School for the Arts. I would also like to recognize all of the exceptional teachers from both Harrison and Lakeland High School who are in attendance today. Would you please stand? Thank you. Finally, I would like to thank all of the Polk County Public Schools executive staff who are assisting all around the facility with today's ceremony. It is indeed an honor to recognize our graduating seniors for meeting the rigorous expectations of our program. The class of 2021 did not just meet those expectations, however, they exceeded them and they exceeded them during the most difficult school year they have ever experienced. If you watched our senior awards ceremony, you know that the students seated in front of you have received numerous accolades for their hard work during their four years of high school. 93% are graduating with honors recognition and more than half of them are graduating with a 4.0 or higher. They have amassed 49,000 hours of community service to the various organizations within Polk County. Seated amongst the class, we have a statewide Arts for Life winner, a National Merit finalist, a Gates Scholar, a national winner of the Scholastic Art and Writing Awards, four Silver Garland Award winners, and many, many more accomplishments. But more than all of this, I want to share with you that the graduates you see here are amazing young adults who are prepared and ready to go out from Harrison and continue to make the world a better place. And I can't wait to hear about the many things they continue to accomplish. It is now my privilege to introduce to you this year's salutatorian. She is a member of the Harrison Motion Picture Arts Department. She is graduating with a 4.615 GPA and will be attending the University of Florida. Please welcome and congratulate Ariana Surio. I recognize that I'm supposed to give this traditional speech, but in the area of coronavirus and this absolutely ridiculous year, let's just keep the theme going. I'm probably the most nervous I've been in a while, but that's only because I want to ensure that the Harrison class of 2021 knows how fortunate I am to graduate alongside them. I truly cannot imagine being able to make it through these past four years without you especially considering the obstacles that we've all faced. And despite the handfuls of terrible things that have seemed to constantly plague us, there were still moments of hope that were only made possible because of each of you. Some of my favorite high school memories are not only the boat days and the movie nights, but also the times you wouldn't think to be that fun. I remember hysterically laughing after doing hours of calculus with Max and Cami. All of us just sitting around my kitchen table trying to remember exactly what the tangent of 3 pi over 4 is. Drew, always in the corner, finding anything to do but math. <laughs> and Sarah coming in with her work uniform on and some cookies to help us keep going. Don't get me wrong, sometimes those hours spent weren't the easiest. But I look back on them with the same fondness I do all my other memories. It's important to note, the time I dedicated to school wasn't just for fun. I was working toward being the best. 
But I learned that while being number one is an extremely esteemed accomplishment, I find just as much fulfillment in my accomplishments as I ever thought I would. And that's what I hope for my senior class, that no matter your passions or your hobbies, whether you're academically inclined or not, that you find it in yourself to be content with your experiences, to be content with all the memories you hold from these years, and to be content with the fact that being number one is not always what's most important, that sometimes being the best may not be what's best for you. So, take the burden off your shoulders, forget about all the expectations that have been placed upon you by parents or friends or even yourself. Take a moment, look around, and appreciate how far you've come. Take a moment to redefine what success means to you. It doesn't matter what seat you're sitting in today or what number you are, what's important is the satisfaction you find within yourself. I'm so grateful for the opportunity to be here and speak on behalf of the student body, especially knowing that we all seem to help each other in such a competitive environment, inspiring each other to be the very best. Having said that, in order to keep within the theme of how upside down the world has turned recently, instead of saying we're all winners, let's be honest. Maybe we're all just a bunch of losers, but at least we did it together. And finally, before I go, I'd like to note one more thing. A close friend of mine, Ben Haycock, isn't able to make it here today, just due to recent events. And Ben, I just want you to know how much you've impacted our high school experience and how much we wish you could be here with us today. Thank you. It is now my privilege to introduce to you this year's valedictorian. She is a member of the Harrison Visual Arts Department. She is graduating with a 4.627 GPA and will be attending Columbia University. Please welcome and congratulate Malaya Williams. Good afternoon. Um, I want to start off by thanking those who I feel have been the most influential for me in the past few years. So to Ms. Garcia, Mr. Bridges, and Mr. Steele for always believing in my talent. Thank you to Ms. Chambers for being the kind of guidance counselor that made my friends at other schools jealous. Thank you to my mom, who is extremely overbearing, but also very giving. And I don't think I'd be the person I am today if it wasn't for her help and to the entirety of the senior art department for being some of the most hilarious company that I could ever ask for. And to the rest of the senior class, I know that this freedom of graduating also seems to come with these shackles of insecurity. Nothing about your future seems very certain right now. People are asking you to make decisions about your college major and your career plans and you're not really sure. And this time of your life where you're allowed to make mistakes with substantial safety nets is coming to an end. And I just want to let you know that it's okay to be nervous. And it's okay to take your time and to figure out your dream job and your dream life. And then if you never have a dream job, then that's okay too. Because we live in a nation where success is viewed through these quantifiable measures where it's all about how many hours you've worked and how much money you've made and who you work for. And while it's hard to escape these expectations, it's definitely okay to be disillusioned by them. For a long time, I always felt that the best thing was to be as productive as I could whenever I could, even if I felt horrible. And yet, after these long periods of productivity, I never felt anything other than tired. I never felt proud of the work that I was doing. And so it wasn't until my senior year where I had to sit at home and do online school where I realized that it was okay to take time for yourself and to just relax. I've done the least work this year in terms of measurable productivity, but I feel like I've gotten a lot done just for myself. I wrote a book that I'm not going to publish, and I wrote songs that I'm never going to release. And most importantly, I've realized that it's okay to take every day one moment at a time. And that while these things aren't going to make me any money, they make me very happy, and I think that's what's most important for us to remember. So don't force yourself to a breaking point in a world that values productivity over peace. 
It's okay to take a break, to have a lazy day, to never, dream, to never have a dream job, to value leisure over labor. The thing that you should work hardest for is maintaining your sense of personal joy. Moving into young adulthood is all about personal growth. You're supposed to be learning who you are and who you wanna be. And so you should dedicate the next years of your life to growing just as much internally as you do academically or in a career. And so with that, I wish you all peace and happiness in the coming years and that your success doesn't come at the expense of your happiness. Thank you. Superintendent Bird, each student assembled here has completed all requirements as prescribed by the Polk County School Board and the State of Florida and is hereby entitled to receive a high school diploma. By the authority vested in me by the State of Florida and the Polk County School Board, I pronounce upon those of you who have completed the necessary requirements, graduates of the Polk County School System, and bestow upon each of you all the rights and privileges thereto. Congratulations to the class of 2021! Ladies and gentlemen, once again, thank you in advance for helping us ensure that everyone's name is heard during this portion of the ceremony as we honor each graduate. We will be announcing all graduates, even those not in attendance today. Malaya Destiny Williams. Ariana Mariella Surio. Diego Andres Vertiger. Sarah Grace Brock. Catherine Sue Miller. Maxwell William Lawson. Kalissa Noel Satterberg. Kieran James Abuan. Cameron Sophia Titus. Samia Faye Driver. Grace Eden Ellis. Logan Matthew Hopper. Presley Rebecca Philpott. Cassidy May Jimerson. Andrew Christopher Rosen. Megan Allison Mabito. Rachel May Turecki. Charlotte Arden Roberts. Tamaya Sine Brown. Yeah. 
Diego Jose Marrero. Ronald Odell Spoto. Benjamin Henry Haycock. Margaret Linda Valenti. Ryan Anthony Marmol. Elizabeth Claire Wuchik. Tia Shamaya Mosley. Amelia Carlisle Hand. Ansley Sarah Averett. Kaylee Lynn Dietrich. Nefertiti Nela Ferdinand. Kinsey Suzanne Akers. Abby Caroline Pedersen. Emily Ann Ponce. James Remy Rouleau. Carla Fernandez Mora. Rue Hartness Whitaker. Abigail Liberty Jaugue Croy. Samaya Priscilla Driver. Sean Adrian Morgan. Tyler Way Gamitter. Matthew Brooks Word Jr. Kaylee Elizabeth Delker. Taylor Ann Haynes. Emma Gray Stamper. Sydney Marie Trishler. Isabel Alana Norsworthy. Jet Sebastian Turner. Selenette Nicole Pereira Torado. David Thomas Burroughs II. Henry Avery DeAngelis. Morgan Isabella Acock. Isabella Martha Grace Puri. Riley Clara Stamper.
Emma Rose Brockman. John Joseph McGee the third. Aiden Lee Crossan. Maria Isabella Salazar. Sanaya Inez Johnson. Aiden David Anderson. Zachary Joseph Alderdice. Carol Ann Kittner. Anthony Christopher Hannon. Sierra Patricia Torres. Paisley Jane Wright. Robin Brooke Kramer. Lillian Faith Creasy. Taylor Grace Wood. Dawson Tyler Reed. Sylvia Terancia Nicholas Patterson. Justin Gabriel Kershawn. Sarah Elizabeth Duffield. Destiny Brianna Polite. Victor Spaulding. Madison Delaney Saus. William David Justice. Alexis Maria Orozco. Haley Blizzard. Sydney Jane Osman. Braden Gage Battles. Eric Joseph Busey. Rachel Renee Gomez. Evan O'Rourke. Cohen Matthew Adams. Caprielle Lauren Grisham. Joseph Michael Brocky. Fernando Joaquin Perez. Jada Nicole McGriff. Travis Stephen Kittner.
Rafael Hernandez de la Torre. Zoelle Maurice Lintz. Juanel Antonio Figueroa Rivas. Figueroa Rivas. Hannah Madison Lee. Corey Scott Johnston. Mary Angel Molina Lopez. Aaron Paul Webb. Jagger Flynn Radman. Ainsley Reed Acock. Morgan Evelyn Bridges. Jamie Janaya Hutchinson. Cheyenne Leslie Pitts. Gabriela Gomez Lopes. Hayden Scott Weaver. Darian Nelson Hardy. Andrew Matthew Previtt. Dedrick Cheney Sainz Mendieta. Amaya Destiny Serrano. Jacob Matthew Phelan. Jaheem Laron Hugan. <laughs> Elena Rose Brown. Christine L. Gill. Adam Nathaniel and Taya. Jennifer Charlotte Robinson. Ariana Nashe Brookins. Laisha Rivera. Joseph Edward Smith. Riley Anderson Donahue. William Zachary Hall. Sydney Page Price. Kaylee Elaine Jones. Isis Marie San Innocencio. <laughs> Mary E. McCarthy. Alondra Marie Fargus Rivera. Hadley Irene Komposki. Yeah. 
Rainier Adrian Crespo. Rudy Vladimir Destin. Dalton Lee Drinkwater. Neela Leon Heist. Oh Elliot J. Holmes. Malik Kari Jackson. Stephen Vincent Peterson. Shalinda Lachey Russell. At this time, please welcome to the stage the Arts Council President, Ms. Ainsley Acock, for the turning of the tassels. Graduates, please stand. <laughs> Join me in moving our tassels from the right to the left. You guys can do better than that. A big round of applause for that class of 2021. This concludes our commencement ceremony. Congratulations, Harrison, class of 2021.